This video is brought to you by my Patreon. Support me for really nice exclusive wallpapers, early videos, and some other stuff. Previously on, a severely abridged Midsummer Night's Dream. Basically, either make her marry Demetrius or let me have her executed. I'd give everything to you if you just let me keep Demetrius. I don't even want him! We're running away together anyway. Do you think he'd be grateful if I told him that Hermia and Lysander are running away together? Here, watch, I'll do some cool backflips. Hey, how's it going? It's going. I work for the Fairy Queen, Titania. Well, I work for the Fairy King, Oberon. You better make sure all you Titania clowns clear out of here before Oberon's party here tonight because, oh boy, those two are not happy with each other right now. Uh, Titania kidnapped this Indian kid and she wants to keep him, but Oberon wants him and so now they're fighting. Oh, hey, you're uh, Robin Goodfellow, the puck, uh, the prankster fairy. That's me, Robin the chair, they call me. Why? Well, sometimes I turn myself into a chair and then I pull myself out from under somebody who's about to sit down. Oh. I assure you, it is very funny. Oh, look, here comes uh, Oberon and Titania. Oh, I got a good feeling about this. Hey, Titania. Oh, God, no. Hey, now, hold on, babe. Come back. Give it up, Oberon. I know you're only here in Athens to celebrate your girlfriend, Hippolyta, getting married. Leave me alone. Yeah, well, you can't be mad at me. You're only here because of your boyfriend, Theseus. Okay, well... First of all, wrong. Secondly, I have every right to be mad at you. You've been refusing to do our magical nature reviving dance since the beginning of summer, and nature is starting to fall apart. It's destroying the entire world. I told you we can do the magic dance as soon as you give me that kid you kidnapped. I need a new henchman. Absolutely not. His dead mom was one of my priestesses. I'm keeping him. What happened to nature is falling apart and it's destroying the entire world? I don't remember saying anything like that. If you come to your senses after Theseus' wedding, we can dance then. If not, well, then get bent, I guess. Yeah, well, if it's you get bent. <sighs> you sure showed her, boss. Shut up, Puck. Hey, remember when I told you about that singing dolphin mermaid that sang so beautifully that some actual stars literally fell out of the sky? Yes, I remember this normal thing that is mentioned offhandedly exactly once in this play and then never expounded upon. Right, well, at the time, completely unrelated, I also saw Cupid fire an arrow at a virgin priestess, uh, but then the moon, also a virgin, sniped the arrow out of the sky. Right, okay, with you so far? So, okay, here's the thing. I saw that arrow land on a flower, and now the flower is basically a love potion. Get that for me. You got it, boss. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the love flower to make Titania fall in love with, I don't know, a bear or a chicken or whatever that thing is. And then while she's distracted, I'll convince her to give me the kid before turning her back. I'm a very normal person. Hold up, who's this? How many times do I have to tell you this? I don't love you anymore. You said Hermia was in these woods, so I'm here going after her. Stop following me. Demetrius, I love you. Stop pushing me away, jackass. Helena, read my lips. I can't read your lips. This animation style doesn't do lip sync. Oh. Well, just leave me alone. Again, I really cannot emphasize enough how stupid this is. <sighs> Demetrius, wait up. Well, that's... Huh. Don't worry, fair lady. I'll help you out. Wow, that was fast. Well, it was right there on the prop table. Great. Well, maybe I can help the production crew repair that fourth wall you keep breaking when I'm on my way to go use the flower nectar on Titania. Oh, and one more thing. I just saw two humans in the forest having a situation. Girl's crazy about guy, guy being a real creep about it, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna need you to go use the flower to make him fall in love with her. You'll recognize him because he's wearing Athenian clothing. You got it, boss. Got literally any more description of the guy so I don't get someone else by accident? Uh, what are the chances there will be two different human men, both in Athenian clothing, in the same woods on the same night? <sighs> Alright, girls. Be dears and sing my favorite lullaby to help your queen get to sleep.
You know, it's getting late. We should sleep. We can keep going tomorrow. Good plan. I'll lay down here. Um, you find somewhere to lay down too. I mean, we could just both sleep together. No. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Uh, I'll sleep over here then. Love you, Hermia. You too. See you tomorrow. Man, I've been looking for this creep for ages and I ain't found squat. How am I ever got- Oh, there he is. Uh, yep, those are Athenian clothes, all right. And he sure looks like a creep, like Oberon said. And there we go. You know, I've got a great feeling about this. Robin Goodfellow is doing the correct thing. I certainly have not made a mistake. I said leave me alone! <sighs> wow, that, that son of a gun can, can really get some speed when he gets going. <sighs> <clears throat> You'd think tripping over that tree branch back there would have at least slowed him down, but he did a whole Sonic the Hedgehog roll and just kept on going. Wait, what's this? Lysander? Lysander, wake up! Huh? What? what? Whoa! <laughs> You're gorgeous. Well, thanks, but it's not- Where's Demetrius? I'm gonna kick his ugly teeth in. Oh, don't say that. I know he's into Hermia, but she still loves you, you know? Hermia? Hermia? Eh, honestly, no idea what I ever saw in that drag. Nah, I'm all about the Helena now. Listen, I'm a logical man, and logic dictates arga. You know, Lysander, I really don't find that very funny, jackass. Oh, Hermia's still asleep. Well, Hermia, sweetheart, you can keep sleeping forever for all I care. I'm done with girls. I found myself a woman. <gasps> oh, 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 shoot. Lysander, you would not believe the nightmare I just had. There was like a snake, and it was eating me, and you were just watching and laughing, but... <laughs> anyway, it was just a nightmare. Everything's totally 100% fine now. I mean, there's no way you'd ever actually betray me like... Lysander? And the father is you, ah. Peter Quince! What? I declare the defendant guilty! Not yet, you don't. I have new evidence that proves my client was nowhere near the city hall when it burned down. Yeah, I just really feel like the works of the Bard are kind of misrepresented in modern culture, you know? Like, there's this preconception that the, the pentameter and the Elizabethan language makes for this kind of stuffy and elitist work, and I, I really feel like there's a lot of potential for... Hey, why is that camera on? We need to time the blast exactly right to bring down the alien mothership, or Christmas will be ruined! And prom is tomorrow! Special thanks to Justin Doak, my first legendary Manticore patron. If you'd like your name in the credits, and some other cool perks as well, go check out my Patreon, linked in the description.